Hello, welcome to the data channel and uh, you are watching Microsoft Fabric Concepts uh, uh, playlist and uh, as part of this uh, sixth video we are bringing up uh, in this playlist. Uh, so in this we will be explaining Microsoft Fabric uh, concept that is a Delta Parky format. So this uh, in this video you can expect uh, like what is Delta we will explain what is Delta Parky format and if you have any questions what is the difference between uh, Delta what is the difference between Parky and why it is called as Delta Parky so hope that will uh, this video will answer all those questions and uh, before proceeding if you are new to this channel we would recommend you to please subscribe and also press bell button for instant notifications so let's get started So the data evolution journey, especially after uh, big data explosion or uh, big data evolution uh, takes taken places, right? Uh, we have uh, seen maybe if you're a data engineer or maybe if you're working in a data space, right? If you, de you might definitely have seen that uh, how the data has uh, evolved over the time. And uh, we have seen the huge explosion of the data in terms of uh, the, the volume of the data it is generating and also the variety of the data which is coming from the different sources right and uh, with this uh, comes uh, the challenge how to store the data how to transfer and how to process this huge volume of the data right and uh, definitely the relation database uh, what we used to talk about uh, traditionally so will not fit uh, for this purpose because uh, it's, just, it's not just about the volume it is also the variety of the data that comes in right so there is a text uh, format csv and there is a maybe json format and the data might be coming from different sources like uh, databases iot right uh, and uh, like file shares and what what not right mainframe systems and also it might be audio video files so uh, definitely we cannot uh, practically store these kind of uh, variety of data in the traditional database system and also the challenge uh, is uh, having uh, uh, imagine you have a different teams right uh, who are working in a data engineering stream uh, who are working in a reporting like a power bi and who are a data scientist and who are who are the people who are working in a sql like data analyst so everyone doesn't have a common language right so this is another challenge uh, that uh, the recent challenge that we have uh, so where uh, the data need to be converted and the data need to be transferred uh, to one one format or another format and then only they can uh, use that format so this is also the latest challenge so combined to Com uh, like combining all these challenges right uh, so the microsoft uh, fabric has come in so definitely if you might have seen the previous videos we have explained uh, how a microsoft fabric is uh, bringing a common cha channel between all of these uh, users by uh, concept of one link so this is a so here also it is uh, using the uh, leveraging the uh, the uh, power of parky format and they have built a delta for a delta uh, on top of the parky so they call it as a delta parky format so right and uh, this is what uh, microsoft fabric is solving using apache parky format right so that is what uh, we call it as a parky apache parky right and uh, definitely we need to see uh, if you don't know about the apache parquet format right uh, we will just quickly briefly explain it right so um, basically it's a columnar uh, storage that means uh, how the data is stored is uh, it, it has its own format of storing the data in a columnar storage so definitely we will not go and see how internal architecture of it right but uh, you need to understand these uh, quick points so that you understand uh, what exactly the advantage or power of parky right and also it uses the compression because we're talking about a huge volume so the definitely how you store the data will also depend on how you uh, process the data if you are storing the data in a compressed format or in optimized format so then the read will be faster right so that is why the data is on and also you can store the cost right and uh, the storage and all whatnot and also it is an open source and uh, it is a it because it is a built by apache right so it is open source and is also language agnostic that means uh, the parquet file uh, uh, can be queried using sql maybe python scala r so that that gives the liberty uh, liberty of different set of users or uh, different skill set with the different skill sets uh, can uh, still leverage the uh, same file uh, using the power of parky and it also allows a schema evolution because it's a need of our right so we are working in an agile uh, agile industry like uh, where the, uh, each industries and each uh, 
um, uh, use cases business use, use cases will keep on evolving and changing so accordingly the there might be columns adding columns might be deleting updated right so that is called the schema evolution so unless uh, if you if you talk about rdbms also we can do it but uh, here in this in this uh, when you're talking about a huge volume the schema evolution so it is seamlessly it evolves the schema so if you're using the parquet format and also it helps in efficient querying because it uses the compression technique like uh, zzip and uh, snappy and whatnot and also how the internally the data is stored right in the columnar uh, columnar format uh, so that and uh, internal architecture of how the data scans how the data will get scanned internally right so that basically uh, makes it um, extremely um, faster in terms of reading the petabytes of data and also it uses uh, compression techniques and that uh, so that helps uh, um, reading the data in a much more efficient and faster way so even the data volume is huge so if you want to know more about the parquet format and how it is different from the other json and uh, csv and avro kind of formats uh, so we would put a link in the description please go through that and also uh, just uh, on top right top corner also there is a icon coming in so you can just click on that and you can uh, navigate to that video and uh, learn more about it if you're interested okay so moving on uh, delta parquet so we have already seen the parquet now so you you know why we why um, what is the power of parquet and why it is coming into picture when you're talking about uh, big data and all those things right so then the next question is delta parquet so we are adding delta now right that means uh, you, you might already understood that um, delta is has used the capacity ca capabilities of parquet and uh, it is actually called as a delta parquet so delta is uh, built using a parquet format plus delta log as you can see here in the um, in this uh, diagram right so these are all the files right suppose if you are uh, storing a huge volume of file that file will be split into multiple uh, chunks of the files here so if there's a 10 um, tb of file so each uh, the 10 tb of file will be split into multiple chunks and it will be stored as a parquet file format it might be image audio video csv file text file doesn't matter so it will be split into multiple uh, parquet file formats based on the partitioning and other uh, parameters so and then uh, so that will be stored as a parquet so that is parquet we have already discussed right and uh, along with that uh, so if it is just doing this color this box right so then that, that is called parquet but uh, what additionally we are doing uh, to make it as a delta parquet is along with this parquet we are also having a one more uh, um, we are maintaining a transaction log for each set of the data so for each set like this is one set of data right which may be a uh, one audio file one video file or one set of customer or transaction data that you have so for each set of uh, data right so or each table of data so you'll be having a delta log so once you have a delta log like underscore delta underscore log so each transactions will be stored here so this will make it it will enable uh, the concept of acid so acid complete make it as acid compliant and also it makes uh, the versioning or the time travel uh, uh, like um, it, it can be maintained and uh, we can do a time travel using that uh, so basically um, so this is this is what uh, is a game changer right so the delta log will store uh, each and every details of the transaction basically this is a metadata so with this metadata which is a delta log uh, and the combination of the actual data which is a which is in the parquet format uh, will constitute or will form the delta parquet format and uh, where you store this so the very where, where you store it 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 will be in the data lake right so and since it is in the data lake uh, you are storing the delta format uh, that will become a delta lake so please concentrate and understand this this is very important point right it people might get confused about data lake delta lake parquet delta delta format and all these things so i'll just repeat okay so here uh, the file format that you are storing is parquet right and when you combine that with the delta log it will become a delta parquet format or delta parquet uh, file you can say right and uh, then okay so this delta parquet format file or the set of the file what you call uh, 
that if you are storing in a data lake right so because it is a delta format that is stored in data lake so the entire data lake will become delta lake so that the conceptually they are telling it as a delta lake so in the delta lake we have already seen in the previous video in detail you can go and check that if you are not already seen that okay hope this concept was uh, like um, we were able to understand this and uh, so often it can be confusing okay so uh, delta r parquet file formats uh, with a bit extra metadata okay so the compute workload you can put on the file store can be uh, transactional workloads you can do a update merge delete uh, retain the versions and other stuffs right uh, which can uh, cannot be do easily with the regular parquet format and delta is uh, supported uh, in databricks right and uh, spark and also now uh, with the new concept of microsoft fabric so delta is also supported in microsoft fabric okay and the last thing is uh, you uh, you might be in heard about like uh, people uh, often talking about uh, the delta and delta parky so these are actually interchangeable formats basically right uh, because most people have uh, dropped the parky from it and they just call it as a delta so both are same whether you call it as a delta or whether you call it as a delta parky both are same so don't get uh, confused with that okay so with that let's move to the final uh, slide so uh, this is just to understand uh, how exactly when you start interacting with delta format that is delta lake right see now understand so this is a this is actually a let me so basically this is a data lake right so this is a data lake right and so what you are doing into this data lake actually you are dumping all the file formats csv json parky and all these files right so that will still be a data lake okay but you are converting that files in the data lake to the um, delta lake how you are doing that by converting this uh, parky file formats here it is just a parky file format right but for associated parky file set of parky file format you are also adding a delta log that we have seen in the previous slide so with this combination what it becomes is it becomes delta table okay so delta table is nothing but it is a the table which is a um, which is actually which is the back end which is actually a, a delta format files okay so this you can you can call it as a delta table or delta file or delta format whatever it is so because your file is converted into delta format with, with this all this delta logs and all your data lake is getting converted to what delta lake simple as that so no matter what kind of data you put here so in, into the delta lake once it is converted to delta lake right that means once this uh, format is created and the delta logs is enabled everything so you will have csv json parquet right all any like real time streaming data coming everything will be a delta lake and everything will be a delta tables okay and you can utilize completely make utilization, uh, utilization of all the uh, features of uh, delta lake that we have seen in the previous video okay so hope this was uh, useful and thanks for watching